Now, Mr. Wellington, I'd like to know what is art in your opinion? Okay. Uh, art, uh, I knew you, you had, uh, to uh, viewers or listeners, uh, Gabriella had warned me that she was going to ask me this question. <laughs> and I have so no answer for this. <laughs> I don't know what art is. Um, I mean, I don't. I, I don't. I, I mean, I think that as soon as you try and define it, you've ruined it in a weird way. And, uh -huh. and you no, know, I will say, I will, this is what I'll say. I will say that humans, um, we are the, we are, as far as I know, the ultimate yin and yang on this earth. And um, we, uh, we can do a lot of destruction and a lot of really crappy things mm -hmm. uh, on personal levels or serial killers and rapists and murderers and racists and just bad humans, bad actors, as uh, politicians like to say. And on large scales, we can do horrible things. We can go to the village across the river and rape and pillage and decimate them until that tribe no longer exists or that country no longer exists. And mm -hmm. we're watching. And in you know the thousands upon thousands of years of human existence, it doesn't seem to change. You can't, you know, if you were, if I'm able to look out my window right now where I just see scaffolding and uh, no bombs going off and no uh, shootings at this moment, you know, that's a wonderful moment. Yeah. And because there's a lot of crap that has gone on, not because America is a bad place or Panama is a bad place or, you know, France is a bad place, but because humans can do very bad things in all places at different periods of time. Mm -hmm. Now, the yang, yin to the yang of that is that humans could also do these incredibly beautiful things. And these beautiful things are not just to grab a fish out of the water and go hump, <laughs> but to think about putting it over a fire, to think eventually of finding salt or a pepper or doing things of seasoning food, of making sushi. I mean, this, you know, when was sushi, what it was like a street food, right? They keep mm -hmm. your fingers. I was wrapped. That's what the niguri, the seaweed was. Yeah. You could, you could grab with your fingers. And, you know, all these different, we, we think about things like food. We thought about rhythms. So, you know, my, my 15 year old little baby is already doing rhythm. And, <laughs> and I say dance and she dances. It's like, expressing yourself through dance and through making clapping your hands or banging something or eventually carving out something and putting a filament so you can play something or making music sound out of using your voice in different ways to make sound to sing and singing in you know whether it's throat singing like in you know in mongolia or you know or, or you know Freddie yes. Mercury singing or yes. you know David Bowie or whoever it's just it's wild and then you had like 40 50,000 years ago people making markings in caves and not just markings like gorgeous drawings of bison and horses and not only doing it in the caves these caves they didn't live in there's no I've been in three of the caves I've been in Fontagon mm -hmm. 40,000 years old I've been in um, uh, Perderac and I've been in Lascaux all before they closed and like the last one was um, in 2006 in Fontagon before they closed it to the public. And there, not only did they do paintings in the caves, they did it on convexities of the stone and concavities of the stone. And they did it by torchlight, which flickers. So when you looked at these drawings of, of uh, like uh, bison, mm -hmm. they, the, the convexities and concavities in the flicker made them look 3D and animated. So 40,000 years ago, they were doing virtual, you know, Oculus Quest 2 yeah, imagery yeah. in caves that they were not living in. No signs of bones, no signs of food, no signs of cooking. They went in there to make art, to record experiences. Now, you could say, well, they, and by the way, they have no idea why. They, their books, this, this book says by these incredibly knowledgeable archaeologists or you know, experts in this say they did it for this reason. And this book says they did it for that reason. And they, they have all their arguments and all the reasons. And who knows? Yeah. I mean, either they're right or they're right or they're both right to different levels. But 
whatever the reasons, these are the images they're making. And then you look throughout history and you'll look at even weapons like crossbows. And along the crossbows is incredible carvings of hunting scenes. And so even weapons of destruction, swords, samurai armor, beautiful artistry, not to just mention artistry in fabrics and textiles and finding colors. So what is art? I don't know. Art is the yin to the yang that we need so that we don't only focus all the time and all the crap we do. But that art isn't just painting. That art is cooking. It's music. It's textiles. It's gardening. It's, it's appreciating an arrangement of flowers and saying, hey, if I put this grouping of plants together, this is going to be pleasing to me or pleasing to people in the town square. It's architecture. It's it's not just like I need a place, some sticks to survive, but can I decorate these sticks to look nicer? If, if it's a cloth around a teepee shape, can I put decorations on it? Are those decorations religious? Are they spiritual? Are they there to please the rain gods or the animals for hunting? They might have other meanings and that's also art. Art transcends, but art to me in a modern, my personal definition of art is, uh, all right, I'm gonna go. So first of all, art is the yin to the yang for all the crap we do that there's a sense of, I want, I like this pretty furniture or look at this necklace I'm wearing. Mm. That to me is all the art, the artisan, the beauty, the need, the, this music I'm gonna to listen to. Um, that's what art is. And, and it's just, it's the other side for all the crap for the, the shelling and destroying of a country for the, the raping and pillaging of, people for you know marching people to death camps to mm -hmm. or marching native americans and the you know the marketeer you know all one after the other just going on all the time so 